WHBT's Sarasota, Tampa, St. Pete. And now on 97.1 WSUN HD2, Holiday Tampa, St. Pete. Live from the Weathertight Windows Studio. Looking for something? You want to see what's on your radio? This should get you started. Download the free 1025 The Bone app to live stream Bone TV. And you can watch great stuff like this. Ooh, oh, wait, what? That's not going to fit in there. Oh, man, oh, it did. Oh, this is crazy. You really should be watching this. Download the free Bone app or go to theboneonline.com now to watch all the Bone TV. I feel crazy right now. Sponsored by Weathertight Windows. You already know you can take 102.5 The Bone with you everywhere. Now listen to us on Odyssey. Online, on your smart speakers. Now listen to us on the Odyssey app. Just one more way to listen to the greatest radio station in the history of Earth. Real Raw Radio. 102.5 The Bone. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. And swing life out loud on 102.5 The Bone. Let's get this show on the road! Damn, son, where'd you find this? He never holds back, and he speaks his mind. Welcome back to Hoppy Hour. Hello. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. What up? What up, bro? What up? What are we gonna do? Let's do it. What's going on? It's Ryan Hoppy and Hoppy Hour taking over for Migs and Swig today. I'm your host, Ryan Hoppy, hanging out with you. Hey, snap your bibles. 727-579-1025 and 1-800-771-1025. Let me see you do it. Hey, okay, enough of that. Jesus Christ. Um, So on the hotline is fitness trainer Devin Prasad because I wanted to get good vibes to the universe. 2021 was crazy. Betty White hasn't even been dead for a day. And, like, I feel like we began 2022 with a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. And I don't want the Bone fam and everybody listening to freak out. So let's welcome from the hotline Devin Prasad, one of the best workout trainers in all of the Bay Area. What's going on? Hey, how's it going, Ryan? Thanks for having me on. Thank you for um, coming on the show. So what I want to ask you, man, so first of all, you're a sage and you're also a workout trainer. And the thing I like about you is that you live a hectic life, but you're positive about it. Because there's a lot of workout trainers that like bring the negative energy to their workout, but you're one of the few trainers to not do that. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. So what I want to ask you, man, as a sage, how did you feel about it going from 2021 into 2022. Were there any thoughts that reached your mind about it? Or were you like me where you were just sleeping, just trying to figure out what was going on? Um, no, uh, thoughts that were going through my head was just growth. You know, um, my main thing for this 2022 year is just to grow and uh, try to be better each day. That's what I'm trying to trying to accomplish. So, 
What is your key to being better each day? Because there's people that have OCD that need to write everything out. For me, I write down some things, but I also put a mental image in my brain. It's something I've picked up from my boss, Mike O, and John Brennan. I've noticed they're good at organizing. So for you, Devin, what are things you do that you could teach the listeners about being organized going into 2022? Um, things I do, um, I just try to uh, not procrastinate, which is, is uh, really hard for, I'm sure, a lot of people out there. Um, you just got to, whenever things come up, you just got to try and take care of them as soon as possible and not put things off. Um, also, if you feel like, you know, not getting up and moving around or, you know, going to a workout or eating the right food or anything of that nature, just um, just focusing on making those right decisions in those small moments is going to change change a lot. And that's help you, you know, overcome procrastination and just really keep you on the right track. Sure. And I think the other thing too is you have to be nice to yourself because this is your temple. This is your body. You know what I mean? Because like I began losing weight in 2011. I was going to take my graduation picture and I began weeping because I couldn't fit into my uh, black pants at all. Like I literally couldn't get it around my gut. So my mom got me a trainer. And in the beginning, I thought I wasn't doing anything right. And then like I began to notice the changes when I graduated. So wouldn't you agree, Devin? Because you've been in the game a while and I know you train people that are just beginning and people that have been in it for a minute. The key is you have to be nice to yourself and realize that it's a marathon, not a race. Correct, correct. So um, if you ever slip and fall, you know, you just got to get up and get get back on the horse. You know, you can't sit there and be upset at yourself for missing one workout or, or breaking your diet one time. You just got to understand that it's about consistency and stacking those days. So if you fall off, just get back on it, and, you know, and, and just start right back over. You know, there's no better time to start than just now fail then don't worry about it keep moving forward have a short you know a short memory about it and just keep on going forward and, and continue to uh to you know be nice to yourself and you know look at yourself in the mirror every day and just do what you can and to be a uh, better you and obviously nobody wants to fail in life it's not like a thing we go oh my god i want to fail but michael jordan didn't make every free throw Donald Trump didn't get reelected. You know what I mean? Like you're going, and I'm just coming up with that. I don't care that he got reelected. I didn't vote. I don't care. I'm not being political, but I'm just saying like not, you're not going to win always. So I really think the biggest problem, Devin, is that we compare ourselves to the Kardashians, women do, or whatever you identify as, and literally they're a Photoshopped body and they have flaws too. Or professional athletes maybe compare themselves to other professional athletes. I feel like as humans, we always compare ourselves to others and we really shouldn't be because everybody goes through issues in life and they're not going to show that on their IG reel. You know what I mean? Definitely. And, you know, fail, failure only, only sets in when you give up. You know, that's when failure happens. So as long as you're on the right track and you, you know, you're not giving up and you're continuing to, to strive to do the best each day, then you're not failing. You're actually a success. You're striving towards a, an ideal goal that you have in mind. What is your take? Like, so you have a few kids. I believe you have five, right? Yes. Now explain, explain what is the difference when you go from one to two to five? Like, what was the experience? What was each one like? Cause I'm fascinated by you cause you're 31 years old. You're only two, you're only two and a half years older than me and you have five kids. So how does each birth and then the whole process of being a father, how does it change you as a man? So it just sets you, it sets you on a, a different path. It just makes you realize that. You, you know, you have lives to take care of now that depend on you and, you know, you can't, you can't sacrifice any of that. You, you have to make sure that that's in the front of your mind at all times and you just have to go out there and, you know, do what you can for them. You know, at the end of the day, you know, they got to eat, you know, bills have to be paid and, you know, that all that stuff has to happen and there's no way around it. So it's either you're going to make it happen or you're not going to make it happen. And there's in my in my reality, there is no way that it can't happen. It just has it has to happen. So with that being said, you know you just formulate a mindset that you know 
of success. Everything's gonna go your way, and that's the way that's the way you go into it. And if it doesn't go your way, then that's okay. That's the way it was meant to be, and we just keep on going forward. So they go on. Yeah. No, I was gonna say, and um, and for my first for my first child, uh, almost thirteen years ago now, because he'll be thirteen coming up here soon. Um, it was a, it was a shock. It was a big shock because I was away in school. Um, and I came back down when he was born, and uh, it was it was just a whole life changer. It's like putting your life in a bottle and then just shaking it up and then just pouring it all out, and then it's just like you got to reorganize everything. And it, I mean, it's a great feeling. Don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a feeling that, you know, no other experience can really imitate having, you know, a child and everything. But it's definitely, it, it can be a little stressful sometimes. <laughs> so we are currently talking to Devin Prasad, who is a fitness trainer in uh, Tampa Bay. And uh, Mike Calta said it best. He said that prior to Joey being born in 2006, he didn't care as much about what his bosses thought. And he was not that he didn't listen to them, but he said after Joey was born, he didn't want to lose his job. So that's when he began to listen to bosses more. So I feel like even if a talented, one of the greatest ever radio show hosts is doing it, that's when you know, Devin, that it's a legitimate thing to provide for your family. For sure. 727-579-1025 727-579-1025 and 1-800-771-1025. Do you have some life advice or do you have some uh, fitness advice that you need answered from Devin? Let us know. Um, what is it like, Devin? Were you, because you're very ripped. I, you kind of, I, I don't know what you look like. It's hard to, because I, I know what you look like, but I'm not the best at picking out what you look like. So before I ask you this, how would you explain what you look like? Because you're like all muscle. <laughs> um, so I would describe myself um, as athletic. You know, um, I would say um, I, I played some football back in in uh, high school and college a little bit, and I definitely kind of kept that same form. So a lot of times people ask me if I I play football still and you know play professional sports. So I, I would say I look like a professional athlete. You look like a you look like a good like cornerback. Like you would like take a big hit and make sure you get the interception. Exactly, yeah. That's what I get a lot, definitely, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, were you always in shape? Because there's a lot of people that probably go, oh, it's too late to get into shape. I grew up chubby. Were you always blessed with being in shape? Or was there a time that you were more skinny and maybe not as ripped? Yeah, no. So, um, growing up, I played sports, like I said. Um, so, I was always in pretty decent shape. But um, when I stopped playing football... Um, and I was working for uh, another company. Um, I actually kind of gained a few pounds, got up to about 210 or so. And, um, yeah, I was just kind of just not really happy with myself. I wasn't working out, just didn't really have energy levels or any, any of that. And, um, yeah, so that was one time that, um, that I was out of shape, I would say, for sure. You know, I probably couldn't run a mile in more than 12 minutes or so. So um, that was one, th- and then uh, d- during the quarantine, when the, all the gyms shut down, I lost a lot of muscle mass because I wasn't able to to lift any weight. So I was doing a lot more running, a lot more um, calisthenic things outside, and I dropped down to probably about one one seventy five or so. I looked really skinny and really wasn't happy, too happy with that. But you know, that was just what it was with the whole quarantine and everything. So. Dude, that was the weirdest time. Now that we look back on it, I can't believe it's been two years, but I'm not going to say that uh, very cliche line. But what I mean is, like, it seemed normal at the time that we weren't leaving our houses. Like, I know you are probably a guy, since you're very spiritual and laid back, that you were probably not against it, but you weren't as for being at home. But it's really weird to think that, like, we didn't leave our house. I'm not saying we should have left our house or we shouldn't have, but... Either way, it's very bizarre that we just, like, we're at home. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It, it was very strange just to, because uh, I was actually working um, in security back then, and uh, I was actually still out on the road sometimes overnight, and it was just really strange to see the roads completely empty, no one on them. It was, it was strange. 
What I thought was weird, too, was when there was no traffic when you're on 275. And then you began to tell that the pandemic, not that it's over with, but in Florida, I don't know how to describe it. But you could tell that people were going out and about more. This is probably June 2020 because all of a sudden, like, there were more cars on the road. To me, that was the way to test that the pandemic was just kind of being taken differently down here. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. 727-579-1025 727-579-1025 and 1-800-771-1025. Now, Devin, before I let you go, um, I know you're a guy, you're always thinking because you listen to Alan Watts and you listen to a lot of these different guys. You're not listening to like Tony Robbins and all the ones that make hundreds of millions. Like You're a guy that listens to like the OGs, like Alan Watts. So you're a very well-spoken guy. You have a lot of opinions. What would you like to share to the Tampa audience before I let you go, just overall. Yeah, overall, I would say um, take this opportunity in this new year just to be a better you, get out and move, whatever that, you know, whatever a better you constitutes to you, just go out and do that. If it's making more money this year, being healthier this year, spending more time with your family this year, you know, keep that focus in your mind and just work every day. Do a little bit each day to get closer to that goal. And one thing I've been doing is I've been more present in the moment. Since Facebook went down like October 2nd or whatever it was in uh, 2021, I've been using my phone only four hours a day. And I'll go out and have my girlfriend or me will drive to like Metro Diner or whatnot. And I'll leave my phone at home. And I think that would be my advice for the year is to listen to Migs and Swig every Saturday from 11 to 2. And the fact that you should not be on your phone all the time. Because you don't want to, like, be at the end of your life, Devin. You know what I'm saying? And you're, like, all your memories are you refreshing Snapchat views. Like, I, I did that this morning, but it's it's been a conscious effort, man. It's literally my addiction. It, there's no joke about it. Yeah, no, definitely, man. You said it best. Live in the now. Be present. You know, engage with people that are directly in front of you instead of people that are, you know, online that you've never met. So the interactions that are going to be directly in front of you are going to be more beneficial to you. Well, this was Devin Prasad from FitSageFitness.com. Thank you for coming on Happy Hour, filling in for Migs and Swig. It's been a lot of fun. Happy New Year to you and your family, and keep up the good work. The Bay is proud of you. All right, peace out, bro. 727-579-1025 and 1-800-771-1025. Um, I have a prediction that I was thinking about. And I want to hear your predictions for what 2022 is going to be like. And I'm not trying to take hacky calls where we're acting like it's going to be the Jetsons and there's going to be flying cars and everything's going to be dandy and wonderful. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want you guys thinking that the Jetsons is just going to be flying around. But at the same time, I have a prediction that I will get to next that is going to doom us all. Happy hour. Happy hour.